Hi, I'm Emily at Family Life with the Pod, and today I'm going to show you how to organize your CRL. And what is a CRL? It stands for Costume Reference Library or Costume Requirement List. I've heard it both ways. It's for cosplay and how you build your costume. We are using cosplay as a big homeschool unit study project. And if you wanna know how I count this as actual education time, go check out our other video that we put up recently on how I use it as homeschool. We hope this inspires you to make your own cosplay. But before we begin, if you like videos about homeschooling, parenting, family life, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you get notified when we have further cool content. Cosplay and building a costume from scratch is really a unique teaching tool and um, making costumes instead of buying them pre-made is a real lesson in delayed gratification and it begins with organization. We like to start with a three ring binder and dividers and make sure you use a pencil so when you're going along and you see you've made mistakes and you need to change things you can erase those mistakes. And be sure to stay tuned to the end because we have some giveaways for you and you're definitely going to want them. I like to start my three ring binder out with a to-do list and some scratch paper and an index. I usually scrap my index a couple times because I add so much to it but uh, that's why you do things in pencil just like you were saying and then also a lot of research goes into it so joining a Facebook group for your character uh, is really fun and very helpful uh, the costumes we've chosen have groups uh, we're doing Star Wars characters and there's an amazing supportive network of, of people who are working on the same costumes and they're very uh, generous with their sharing of, of knowledge and images and patterns so if you are doing a costume, make sure you check around and see if there's any sort of clubs or groups that are also participating in that same costume. And some of these people in these groups have already been so helpful and generous to us. And I can't thank everybody here right now, but I want to include that in a future video. And uh, if you check out the links in the description, we'll be able to link to some of these groups that we're a part of, as well as some of the, the things that you might see us doing in the, the extra footage. So the first step we do in our CRLs is draw a picture of our character and then label all the pieces. The second step is assessing the foundation of your costume clothing and then figuring out how the other layers anchor to it. That's right, you can't figure out the chest plate until you know what's going on underneath it. Just like if you're doing historical costume, you can't begin the beautiful outside beaded gown until you have the right underpinnings and corset underneath it, otherwise it's just going to look awful. So finding those base pieces, what everything's anchored to is really important. So next we create an order of construction and it's a numbered categorized database. Um, for the order that we're going to begin to build because there's a numerical order that you need to start these things in. There are three degrees to this. First, simple labeling of your line drawing. Two, then take those categories and write an in-depth list on how to approach it. Three, uh, a careful detailing of each little piece down to the color and the weathering and how you're going to approach making just that one little piece for your costume for each piece and be sure to check online because some of these costumes that are from movies or games already have a CRL online that will have a whole list of everything that is required Something we really try to do is be as accurate with our labeling as possible. We try to use the correct historical names for any armor or uh, even the soft parts. We try to find the modern or historical equivalent and use the appropriate names as we label. Step three, measurements. <laughs> it's nice to have your measurements handy and make sure you also do them correctly. And here's a handy page that we use.
Then we start a new file for all of the lists. We have material lists and supplies that we need lists. We have uh, maybe even an inventory of some of the tools or the supplies that we already have on hand. A list of the character accessories like weapons, belt buckles, clips, other things that you'll be needing. <laughs> We've created these list templates so that we can stay organized with each costume. Then we start a new file off with our logs. So this is where I also keep for their homeschooling a log of all the non-costume time where they're not building a costume but they're maybe making presentations. I detail this out in my first video about how I use cosplay as homeschool. We keep a time log and a budget to track the money that we spend. We keep a calendar so we can track our due dates for specific pieces to meet our deadline. We also keep a shopping list of things that we need to buy and places that we need to go, websites where we can find them. Then we start the next section with our materials, our fabric swatches, our paint swatches, and any other materials that we're using for this project. Right after that, we'll have a place for reference material, so anything we've printed out about the costume, anything just maybe um, something about what glues and adhesives to use, um, other prop making, tutorials and then a whole section of our patterns. Patterns we've printed, patterns we've made and cut out. We keep them in a big envelope in the back of our CRL. And that's it. You're ready to make an amazing costume. We hope you found this really great. If you would like to find all these papers that we made, these templates, you can find them below. So in the description below, there is a link that is just for you of 12 templates uh, to use for your historical or cosplay costumes and we hope that it helps you get organized and make a wonderful costume and we'd love to see those costumes please be sure to find us on social media tag us if you've made a costume or if you've used our journal pages we'd love to hear from you we love giving away free things, so please support us by subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up and commenting below. We really love engaging our audience. And be sure to find us on Facebook, Instagram, at Family Life with the Pod. And be sure to check out our other videos. There's the video that I did before this about how I use cosplay as an education, as a unit study for homeschool. You'll wanna check that video out right here and this video that we did about the benefits of homeschooling with my sister.